Hi guys, Dan Stollers here. Question just in, how much is the 2017 Mr. Jeremy Fisher 50 pence coin worth? Have a little discussion about the coin today. Which 50p coin set it comes from, how many of it was made, and then back to the question, how much is it worth? So on this side of the coin then, there he is, Mr. Jeremy Fisher, looking to the left. Mr. Jeremy Fisher there in lettering all around the left hand side and running over the top. On the back of the coin then, the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II looking to the right. 2007, the year this coin was made at the top. Elizabeth II Roman numerals for two on the right hand side. There's some lettering there running round to the 50 pence, a coin's face value, which stands for Defender of the Faith by the Grace of God. Now the Mr. Jeremy Fisher 50p is part of the Beatrix Potter 50p coin set, being released in the years 2016, 2017 and 2018 for circulation. There was indeed a Peter Rabbit made in 2019 and also this year 2020. However, they were never intended for circulation and if you do want them, you will have to buy them online. 13 different Beatrix Potters did enter circulation over those three years. There was 9.7 million Mr. Jeremy Fishers released, which means this coin really is only worth its face value of 50 pence. If it has been in circulation, you will get double your money, one pound for a perfect uncirculated one, which I have now, which is great news if you do have a lot of perfect uncirculated at home. Definitely do look out for the rarest two from the Beatrix Potter set, both released in 2018. The Flopsy Bunny 50p, along with the 2018 Peter Rabbit. Only 1.4 million of those were actually ever released into circulation. Perfect uncirculated versions of them coins, currently seven to eight pounds and good quality ones, five to six pounds. But that'll definitely be doubled by the end of next year. So a huge shout out if you have been lucky enough to find any of those at home. So I hope that answers your question. If you do have any more questions, please feel free to comment them there in that comment section below. There's 30 minutes left for the top commenter of the week award and the final week of the Christmas list. Just to try and get anyone else some extra points, the first person to write down the date that I got wrong in the whole video. You might have to quickly go through it all to see. I did say one date wrong. The first person to say it will get 10 points towards that top commenter and maybe boosting them up there or get them on that leaderboard and get themselves in the lucky ball tomorrow. Have a lovely night, guys. There'll be one more video up tonight. And then get ready for the amazing prize draw tomorrow where there's going to be, I think, 17 prizes in one. So that's going to be really busy. Let's get loads of winners involved. Loads of different Christmas coins out there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Get in that Christmas mood now. All the best. And as always, thanks for watching.